Okay, so we're gonna do our candy cane. Um, we started and then we I we never finished last night, so to always share stuff with you guys. I just, you know, I get really freaking busy. I'm the busiest person I know. Okay, so what we're, this is just double side tape on on our Amazon list. I'm gonna drop it down. I've spray painted and base cupped base painted this cup yellow, I'm sorry, white last night. And then we just let it dry. And so we're going to do this. So we're going to go through and start layering on. This is just amp. Like I said, it's just our, whatever's on our Amazon list. That's what I have. Uh, tape wise. And we're going to go thick, thin, thick, thin, thick, thin. And the red is going to be the thick um, tape and the white, we're not going to get fancy dancy on this one. The white is going to be the, the, um, sorry, the thin is going to be the white and the thick tape is going to be the red. And we're just going to butt it right up next to it. And we're going to do this entire cup. We just drop it down. right alongside of it. And we're gonna start working on our candy cane because yesterday you guys said you want to see some holiday stuff. So we're doing the storyboard glow in the dark Halloween peekaboo, and we are doing the candy cane hot chocolate pour spillover. So this one I just started an angle and just keep going at the same angle and working my way around the cup. with the double-sided tape. Yep, um, so I use spray paint. Glow powders, you can just add straight to your epoxy, mix it into your epoxy and drizzle it on if you want like a wispy look to it. Um, or you can use spray adhesive on the tumbler and basically burnish it down onto a tumbler. Um, how you see me, just as you see me burnish down glitter, do the same thing, but with um, the glow powder. You can add it to your glitter and sprinkle it on it, but it will not be a solid color. It'll be more of like a, like sprinkled like glitter. There's all different ways to do glow powder. So you can see what I'm doing is I'm actually, so I can move faster, I'm doing one I'm doing the outside edges, so I can do two of the same width in the same, like without switching rolls. And then I cut it and I add the next. And this is just gonna work our way around for our candy cane. And again, this is just um, the tape that, it's just double-sided tape. We have it in all sizes. 
on the Amazon shopping list. They have double side tape at Michael's and stuff, but it's really stinking expensive. Hi, Chris Fields. Have you blown away, Chris Fields? We're making a candy cane. Oh, Julia, dirty pours are fun. I keep wanting to do one, but I, I, that requires me to clean up my workspace and then make a big giant mess with my workspace. I have a really cool dirty pour that I have this really cool tool that I want to show you guys. And I keep meaning to do it. And I keep forgetting to set up for it. So you'll see it when you'll see it, but I haven't gotten a chance to whip it out yet. Look how fun that's getting. Can you guys see the starting to see the pattern? So fun. And we're almost done. We're almost done. That's why I do the one on each side because it kind of makes the time, it makes it go faster. So this one's gonna be a candy cane and then we're gonna do a, ch a chocolate drip pour so it's almost like a hot peppermint hot chocolate. Is that what he likes? Yes, he loves peppermint chocolate. Peppermint chocolate cookies, uh, cookies and coffee, hot chocolate. I'm sure Tom would love a super glittered tumbler for Christmas. Ninny muggins. I'm so ready for Christmas. This is gonna be so fun. I'm just so excited because my kids are now finally old enough to where they won't totally trash the Christmas tree. <laughs> so we can have a normal Christmas tree. My sister had a cat that used to just like climb up and just hang out inside the Christmas tree. Um, also, guys, mental note for Christmas, we have gift cards. So 
so your significant others can get you a gift card for Little and Rose so that you can get your, you can stock up with your turners and all your glitters and all your goodies. We've got so much stuff coming, oh my gosh. We're getting ready for Black Friday. We're gonna have some really cool stuff for the Black Friday and Small Business Saturday and Florida Sunday and Cyber Monday. Yep, we're actually organized this year. See, that wasn't as painful as you think it's going to be. It feels like you're going to be taping off forever, but it actually goes quite quick. Oh, boy. I think I'm gonna put on this one the Hallmark the cute little thing about like this is my hot chocolate drink and Hallmark watch and movie mug or something like that I love that because that's me I love Hallmark movies I almost put a Hallmark movie on the other day <laughs> I didn't would kill me well I torture him he my husband watches whatever I want to watch he's I'm, he's awesome I have him watching old seasons of Big Brother. I'm actually trying to catch up because I started watching this this current season, but I'm actually behind. Like I couldn't keep up with what was going on with this Big Brother because I'm not up to date. Okay, here we go. So there we go. We, now we've got a, this is where it gets a little tricky. So now we've got this portion here where we start getting like the, um, what, what's the farts? Um, the taper of the cup. So we're gonna start slicing right along the edge. There we go. So when we lift this, this piece up, it's gonna come up and this one will just be skinnier. Okay, so we're gonna start doing that on um, all of them. So watch careful. I'm going to do it again on this one. I'm going to lay down the double-sided tape. Right along, keep right along the edge, right into the point. it off then I'm gonna go along this this tape the line of this side of tape and we're just gonna slice right along the edge with our exacto knife Very carefully. All right, so that one's prepped. Now we're gonna go into the skinny one. guys a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. I am just going right along the edge. And 
slicing it out. As you can see, it's one down. I'm going to go right along the edge of this. There we go. Okay, so now we have all of our tape on our cup. I don't want the tape along the bottom, so I'm going to go along with my X-Acto knife and just gently trim and remove it. Ouch, just hit my funny bone on my chair. Right along the bottom. Trimming it off. The bottom, I think I'm gonna end up just making it solid red glitter. Okay, I just, it's still zinging me. My funny bone is still zinging. Exacto knife is running out of sharpness. It's not that sharp. This is my older one. This one I know I just replaced the blade, so it's super sharp. now we are going to start adding our glitter. So we're going to do the dark glitter first because the dark glitter will contaminate the white glitter. If we do the white glitter first, it will contaminate the dark glitter. So we're going to start with our dark glitter. We're going to go with Elias. He is our holographic red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the top layer and expose the tape of all the large pieces. So I'm just gonna just gently peel them back. All the large bits, make sure that the skinny bits stay down. going to do it a little at a time. Okay. 
and we're gonna just sprinkle it in. And I'm gonna kind of burnish it down onto the, the, the adhesive. Then we're gonna use our glitter duster. clean. Okay, and then we're going to pull some more. Okay, and then we're gonna just take, keep going with Elias, sprinkle it down. And then we're gonna burnish the glitter. By burnishing it, it's just helping get it more glitter attached to that tape just pressing that tape, the glitter onto that tape. Okay, and then again, just taking our little glitter duster. And... Removing more. Yep, so the glitter just sticks to the double-sided tape. And I burnish it down just like it would be um, for spray adhesive, but it's double-sided tape. And it is, it, it, it's, the, it's hard, it, really I should have based the color, well, you wanna kinda base the color of the glitter that you're gonna be using, but I know that if I base this color red, it was gonna take a lot more for the white to cover the red than the red paint than the red to cover the white paint. So I went ahead and did white paint and then we're just gonna really make sure we get a lot of red glitter in the spots where it needs to be. Okay. And again, this double-sided tape is just on our Amazon shopping list. You wanna make sure you get a good, strong double-sided tape. Strong, strong grip, double-sided tape. All right, 
So we're just making sure that that, I actually really like this area where it comes together. Um, okay, so now we're just gonna very gently with our glitter duster brush, clean it off. This is where the glitter duster brush is amazing. And this is why I use it for ombres as well, to just help gently remove glitter where you don't want some glitter. It's very gentle. It's not gonna wipe any of the glitter off that tape. And there we go. So now we have this super, super duper beautiful red. I am going to set this up on end. We are going to take this, put it back in the bag. So that's Elias. Elias is our holographic red. He is crazy, 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 crazy sparkly. Yes, so Elias is our holographic red. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm gonna run it outside and I'm going to do a coat of clear spray paint to hold Elias in place just so it's not gonna contaminate. Uh-oh, I just unplugged one of my lights. So it's not gonna un uh, contaminate the white. Turbo, you're gonna have to wake up, buddy. All right, I'll be right back, guys. We can, now this one has set and dried. We've got, um, we put the uh, clear spray paint over the top. Now we're gonna go in and remove the, the tape from the white, the, the ones areas where we're gonna put down the white glitter. I know it doesn't even have the glitter on it yet. It looks so good. Get it all glitzed up. And then same thing. Whoop. The super super pretty Falcor in there, gorgeous. open up another bag of Falcor because I contaminated the last one.
I'm going to do a full glitter base underneath. Yeah, I'm going to do it all red underneath. It'll be totally red underneath. I should have just done the last one. There's one left. Just one. Okay, and then glitter dust. Beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to keep this bag of Falcor because this is our bag that we know is clean. This is our little contaminated Falcor. Yes, what I used on this one is double-sided tape. Okay, then I'm just gonna go along the top and I'm just gonna cut off all this excess tape. I will ultimately clean this t uh, tumbler up really well with a hot knife at the end. Right now we're just getting the, the main chunkiness of it off. pair of those like uh, the man manicure scissors would be good in this situation which I do have but I'm not gonna get up and go get them All right, perfect. This has got a little gooey stuck on the inside. Oh yeah, this is definitely a replay watcher. I have done a lot on this tutorial, this this live. Some of it's a bit, a little bit mind numbing, but um, okay. So now we've got this gorgeousness happening here. I really want to make sure it's dusted off well. Perfect. Okay. So now let's do the drip. 
I'm going to put on my chemical respirators. Oh, it's kind of gooey from the last time. Okay. All right. I'm going to switch to my silicone mat instead of a piece of parchment paper. I'm going to put on my chemical respirator. You guys might want to open the door. To make sure there's a lot of ventilation in here for you guys. Okay, so we are going to mix, we're going to make our chocolate drizzle because this is going to be like a hot cocoa cup. So I'm going to use Mike because Mike is kind of like the milk chocolate color that we have. It's beautiful. And I need my scale. I'll bring you guys down a little closer. All right, so this is going to be our quick set epoxy. No, I haven't done the glow in the dark yet. All right, so this is going to basically be a chocolate drizzle down the top, from the top down, like that, like the uh, like a it's going to be like a hot cocoa, a peppermint hot cocoa. So this is going to be our quick set epoxy. Um, this is coming soon. I'm going to measure it out with my syringe. So we're going to get 7.35. Clean my syringe off so I don't have a glue sticky workspace. This is not released yet, but it is coming. We've got it on order. It'll be here. Yes, I reuse the syringe, Penny. I make sure I keep it labeled A and B. I know which one. Okay, so we're going to mix it up quick. This is something you have to do very, very quickly. You got to mix it up, you got to add your glitter, and you got to do your drizzle all in under 10 minutes. I would say even under five minutes. So I mix furiously. Quickly, 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 quickly. Uh, because all of our epoxies are uh, measured by, by weight. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so now I'm gonna add my glitter. This is gonna be our chocolate sauce. This is Mike. Okay. And then you have to take it and quickly drizzle it on the cup. I'm not gonna worry about it going inside the cup right now. I'm just gonna worry about it going around the outside. Because if it goes in the inside, I can get it out with my hot knife, no problem. I just want my hot, you, this goes so fast, this cures up so quick, that you gotta move quick, 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 and get it all the way around. So I just drizzle it and pour it along the outer edge. You saw I didn't wait at all. I just went in for the kill. There's my drizzle, so now I can hang it upside down to stop it from going any farther. Turn it. Just go back and forth a couple times. See that inside? I'm just gonna get that out with a hot knife later. I'm not gonna worry about it now. And it's done moving, so I can definitely leave it. The bigger globs might move a tiny bit, but very, very little. How friggin' cute is this? So what we'll do now is when it cures, finishes up, we will take the hot knife and clean the rim really well, get everything from inside out. And then we can uh, do our epoxy. I'm gonna make the bottom solid red. And then I think right here is where I will put the little decal about it being my hot cocoa drink. I don't know, this might not even get a label. It's so freaking cute. Yes, this is Mike. So the brown that I use is Mike. He's kind of like our milk chocolate. The book.
All right, guys. So now we've got our, you're gonna wanna take one of these like cake decorating tips. Mine is really, really large. It's the only one I have. Um, you don't have to use one so big. And I just take a Ziploc bag. I don't use piping bags mainly because um, I couldn't find our piping bags and they're expensive to buy. And I just grabbed a Ziploc bag because you know me, I'm always thrifty. And I'm just going to tape around the piping bag with electrical tape. so that the paste doesn't squish out everywhere, okay? I did not clean it out from the last time we did this, guys, and um, I didn't have time to soak it, so we're just gonna wing it today because you can see it's really dirty inside there. I should have I soaked it and cleaned it, but I didn't have time. So it's really, it's, but it's so. So you can see I chose this tip. So what you do here is um, we were working with the texture um, paste. We've got the frosting tip. We've got our little bag attached. If You can use a piping bag if you have one handy. I just have a Ziploc bag. I attached it here. I put the, um, because this is a little denser than like frosting normally would be, um, I, I electrical taped it down so that it doesn't squish out and come out of here. We don't want to waste any of this product. All right. So then we have um, on hand and ready to go. We have our little holiday toppings. And we're gonna use Abraham as like a little, to make it look like sprinkles. And we have our dots. So we're gonna make, this is gonna be a really over the top excessive topping, but it's like, it's a Christmas tumbler. So I feel like excessive and over the top is like appropriate for this. Um, then I, where's my spoon? Boop, 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 there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my spoon. And we are going to scoop out the topping and start working it down in there. So yes, this is a little bit pricey, but it makes, you'll see, it makes the most beautiful whipped topping. Now you will see, some people will say, oh, you can use um, spackle and the spackle does work. I have done it. I, that's why I said there is a cheap way you can use spackle, um, but it's super duper heavy. There's no way to whip it and get it light enough to where it's not going to weigh a ton. So it, it, it is in either here nor there, and it doesn't hold the shape like this texture paste does. This texture paste is going to hold the shape just like buttercream um, uh, frosting would. So it's kind of worth it, if you're, if, especially if you're making your own personal cup and you, you want it to be special. Or you can upsell these. I would actually, if I was going to upsell this on a cup, I would actually probably add about $25, $30 just for this frosting topping. So I put the whole jar in there. Because you kind of want to go all one big sploosh when you go. So I'm going to try to get every little bit of it out of there. You don't want to try to, you don't want to like dollop and dollop and dollop and dollop because it won't look like it came out of a, a whipped cream can. Our goal is to make it look like it came out of an aerosol can and somebody just put it on top of their hot chocolate. Okay. So we are going to squish that down in there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add some from a second jar. I said, I told you guys I'm going big on this one. I'm going to keep this as a personal cup. It's going to be my holiday cup. So I'm just diving head first. quite a bit so it's gonna be nice and large my whip topping is gonna like rule the world okay pinch it clean off my spoon I want to close the top so that doesn't start drying out because this is a paste it will start drying out okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're going to start squeezing and I'm going to spin the top to kind of close it down. I'm 
Um, I see Emily Allen. Emily, just post it in the group. Your swag, your swag bag challenge, uh, t t t your swag bag challenge video goes in the group. Just post it to the group. Um, so now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna slowly twist, and you can see it's gonna right at the t point of filling the tip, and I'm gonna keep. And you can see as we do this, it just grows and grows and gets really big and cool. Just as if it you're, and we're gonna start spinning it and letting it just get this really cool whip topping. And then we'll spin. I expected it to take a lot more than that. But look how fluffy that is. Look at how amazing that is. And look, I have all this left over. I expected it was gonna take a lot more because I the last one we did was on a very large one, but this came out so perfect. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is basically just squish this back into my jar to save it. You can use any different type of, every cake tip is different. So you can even practice with maybe some, even try, try with the practicing with spackle to see which cake tip you like the best before committing. Because usually when you buy the tips, they come with three different ones. This one came with a couple different ones. I like that this one has the, um, the little score lines in it. Okay, so we're gonna close that off. So really probably what it did was it used about one, one thing of texture paste. For now, I'm gonna cut this, because we don't need it. And I'm gonna stick this, because there is more in that tip, and I'm gonna salvage that. But so it doesn't dry out, I'm gonna stick the tip down in there. And I'm going to put the lid on this jar. Come on. Okay, so now we're gonna add all of our little goodies. So I'm going to use Abraham as our topping sprinkles. Oh, I should have my paper underneath, my parchment paper. Okay, we're gonna catch the extra with it. So we're gonna just take the topping and we're gonna just, oh, that's a super sprinkle. That was on super sprinkle. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit of sparkle. I don't wanna get too crazy. I mean, I want it to be crazy. <laughs> I, want, I want it to be fun and very, very over the top. Okay, so now we're gonna do our little snowflakes. Um, I definitely like this snowflake the best, so we're gonna go ahead and stick him kind of right on the top poking out and have the little Santa hats. Let's add them on here into all the fun little spots. We've got a couple different snowflakes. But again, I don't want to take away from the frosting itself, but I want to add all my fun little holiday goodies to make it look like, well, let's just be honest, it's gonna be over the top because it's freaking adorable. But I don't wanna lose the shape of my frosting as we go. So I'm just being real careful how I go in and add these. These will be held in place by epoxy so I don't have to shove them in there too hard. Um, let's add one to this side. Oh, we need a little sprinkle on this side. Because we will epoxy over the top of this. Oh, so, okay, so the snowflakes where I made them was on our website. We have this little um, jewelry charm 
uh, mold and it has the snowflakes. It has the little snowflakes and I made them all yesterday um, using this um, Abraham, the same glitter. I don't know if I want to add this last red one. I feel like I'm going to hold off on that red one. Okay, so now because we're gonna add now we're gonna add the um, pearls. I don't. Oh my gosh! What if I open these and they explode? I know, Dory. You're gonna have to do this. You're gonna have to make one of these. You're gonna have to make yourself, now that you know how to do the whip topping, girl, you're gonna have to make yourself a whip topping one. You guys prodded me into this because I always said I'm not, no, because to me these like things would, the the, the amount of cleaning it would take if they got dirty, but you, I remember that not, oh, I am definitely opening these upside down. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my rhinestone picker and I'm gonna pick up the little pearls. Whoops. And I'm gonna stick them down on the frosting. Oh my God, I'm in love with this already. I've only put one on there. <laughs> oh my God. It is. The, it's only ruined by the hideously ugly blue straw. What? Look how, <laughs> look how perfect that's gonna be when I finally finish it. So go get you some of this. Use either get it on our Amazon page or use your coupon. I told you guys I was gonna show you, but I'm super stoked about the little snowflakes. The, uh, the snowflakes and the little boots made it for sure. I have a cherry, but I'm not gonna put it on there because I like the snowflake as the topper. Oh, this will get epoxied. This will definitely get epoxied over, for sure. 